all right hello everybody my name is shorik and um, today we'll just take a look at the abdomen in human anatomy it's a huge topic obviously it's a very 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 vast topic and there's a lot to be covered but obviously we won't be doing each and every bit of it we will be for this part of the lecture obviously focusing on what i say to be the peritoneum or the peritoneal folds in the abdomen a very 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 important topic as far as i have understood it and um, um i don't mean to demotivate anyone but uh, it's a bit tricky it is a bit tricky i'll give it that so what we're going to do now is we're going to take a quick look and we're going to understand what that is details about how it is and what and the very minute intricacies which are related to this topic i think we may skip that for now in a future video maybe we'll be covering all of those but in this very video lecture i think it's more important to focus solely on the concept of the peritoneum what it is how it is formed and the structures related to it and stuff you know so it's a very basic overview but this is very important because this is going to be the foundation if somebody does not understand this topic this very basic foundation then the later intricacies of this topic will be difficult if not impossible to understand so let's start all right now the thing is what is peritoneum I hope everyone's seen a balloon, right? Peritoneum is a balloon. That's all. <laughs> If I had to say a one sentence, this would have been this, all right? About the peritoneum, it is a balloon. Where is the balloon situated? In the abdominal cavity. Abdomen has a cavity. Everybody knows that, right? If I remove all the organs from the abdomen, here we can see that. in this model obviously that it is stuffed with organs stuffed if we remove all these organs then there will be a hollow space that hollowed out space a hollow space is known as a cavity and this hollowed out space is present in the abdomen so this is abdominal cavity right the abdominal cavity is in continuation inferiorly to another cavity see this we can see that these two hip bones the innominates they together make up a basin like structure we call this to be the pelvis along with the sacrum right we know this the sacrum and the hip bones they make up the pelvis articulated pelvis the pelvis is like a basin a floor so it is also enclosing a space or a cavity which is known as the pelvic cavity so abdominal and pelvic cavity are continuous and superiorly we have the thoracic cavity anyways suppose or rather consider a balloon which i was talking about actually earlier this balloon is uh, not air filled if it is air filled then it would be too tight I want this balloon to be water filled. Okay? Got it? So this balloon is water filled, so it is not very tight. It is kind of loose. So it can accommodate other things. Now I take this balloon and what I do is I start stuffing balls into it. All right? Balls. Small balls. I start stuffing balls. into the balloon water filled obviously 
Now, what happens is that since the balloon is loose, water filled, I am stuffing in balls. So, a depression is being made over the balloon surface, right? And the ball is going deeper and deeper inside as I am forcing the ball inside the balloon. But that is obviously everything, each and everything of what I am talking about. This is going on in an external level. We are not going inside the balloon. Remember this. This is an important concept. We are not going inside. Nothing is inside the balloon except the water. Only water is there inside the balloon. What we are doing is we are compressing the balloon from outside with the balls. This is what the concept is about the peritoneum. The peritoneum is a balloon, more conveniently a water-filled balloon, which is being stuffed by those balls in the form of viscera or organs. Right? So, now, the thing is, since it's being stuffed by these organs, we can tell or we can rather say that uh, it is going to cover these organs. Right? We are stuffing organs into the peritoneum. So, that means folds of the peritoneum will start covering that organ. Hannah, right? So that is exactly what happens. That is exactly what happens. The organs start getting covered by the peritoneum. Some organs are covered almost fully by the peritoneum. Some organs are covered partially. Some organs are covered on one side. So there are variations to this and we'll be talking about this later. For now, we need to understand that the basic concept about the peritoneum is that it is comparable to a water-filled balloon. All right. So we have got to that. Right? 